A very good afternoon to one and all. I am Dr. Pallavi Patil from Modern College of Pharmacy in Igri. And we just continue with the chromatographic separations. That is our fourth lecture. So in this lecture, we will again proceed for your further discussions. That is how the you define the selective selective factors than uh, Gaussian's peak. That is a symmetrically normal error peak. And the Gaussian's curve also we discuss with the variations. The variance that is recalled as a Gaussian peak with a different type of variations is also dependent on the peak weight. If the peak weight is a uh, great in number, so the uh, isolations or the separations of this uh, solute is somehow difficult. The T is definitely defined, de, uh, de, uh, defined this is time. This T is dependent on the variations of the velocity of the solute. Now, this is defined again in a different type of the equation. That is, a T is equal to the variation variance upon a length of the column upon T R. That is, a retention time in the so of the solute in the uh, <coughs> retention time of the uh, solute in the retention time of the uh, stationary phase. So of the solute. So in this the width, width of the peak area is definitely we call as the baseline. We represented it at a capital W. So capital W is also uh, uh, assumes that is a four time of the time that is a retention time. Naturally we are seeing the 96 percent of the solute can contain under the peak area. Now if the peak area you are defined a certain peak area which may be a 1 lakh to 1 lakh some points or this. So, the center of this you are defined that the center is very simple, the center is very defined, and you have the both sides having a less telling factor, fronting factor. So, the peak is we called as don't having a much error, and the 96 percent of the solute is in the peak. So, this type of now, the percentage of solute is definitely depend on the length of the column, that the time, retention time, the retention time of the mobile phase, retention time of the stationary phase, as well as the length of the column and width of the peak upon four times the retention time of the mobile phase, retention time in the stationary phase. This is also a defining way of presentation. So, a symmetric peak, the efficiency is definitely estimated. You feel that these are the peak and this is the not asymmetric with each other. This is very high number of the retention type and this is the low number. In this condition, you are not easily centralize your um, retention time value. So, it is a asymmetric chromatographic peak and which is not exactly giving a good separation of your compound with a defined uh, quantitatively uh, identification and estimation. So, this is a n number of plates present. The number of plate present is we can also identify or find out the number of theoretical plates. 41.7 is a uh, generalized formula for this and the TR is the retention time in the mobile phase, retention time in the stationary phase upon a width that is 0 0.1. The 0 0.1 is what the 0 0.1 the peak width at 1 by 10 height whatever the height is there so I have to divide it by 10 and this is defining the width. So for the A and B component which is a mixture in between a, a final component and you have to isolate this one. So, on this formula generated, you need a TR and width square of this upon the retention time of the A and retention time of the B plus 1.2. This is calculated by a, a different type of uh, calculations. You are supposed to consider in your mind whatever the four lectures is already considered uh, taken you have to go through it and how the formula get generated you will easily get the idea and helpful for this. The horizontal line, the horizontal line of the peak is the height equal to the 1 by 10 that is this one. Okay. 
so you can easily get the final product and uh, this is the band broadening is definitely affect the band apart now you will see that this is a broad binding uh, binding so if this is a more broad is definitely affected the band so the band is not getting a right way the average mi migration rate for the molecule of the same solute are not identical uh, whatever the sp split up of this uh, band broadening is not exactly equal in between the a and b part not generalize a central so in this very difficult to get their um, final value so this is not uh, identical if we are fi finalized differentiate with the migrations now what is our longitudinal diffusion the molecule tend to diffuse in all direction when these are the column if you are considering this is the horizontal column and you just push on your mobile phase the stationary phase is already the settled down in the uh, mobile phase and the mobile phase is goes run from here to here and you feel that the mobile phase are diffused in the all directions whatever the adsorptions happen because of their concentration of the zone is appear with the compare with the other part of the column so the concentration is may be a tracking in the stationary phase so in this these are the longitudinal distribution is giving a certain equation how you are defining the diffusion of solute in the mobile phase that is dm k is the distribution constant and the v is defined as the the what what we are defined the velocity of your solute how much the velocity of your solute the factor is not as important in the liquid chromatography but yeah if the factor you are considering the rate of separation is get better and you have to consider in certain way to increase your separation rate good and the flow rate is also good if these if your constantly flow rate is a low and you are repeating a lot of times repeated or reproducibility of your um, experiment and you feel that the same thing happening repeated and repeated in this condition the longitudinal dis diffusion parameter you have to consider in your liquid chromatography type of separation please keep in your mind okay now in this way now longitudinal distribution so you have to calculate in this dm is the diffusion of the solute in the mobile phase the factor is not much more important now what we feel that now this is the t0 if the mobile phase is started uh, from here to the end of this and immediately the samples get um, track adsorb with the solute in the mobile phase and this type of samples is get track certain with now this broadening of the band is low and these are defined in a good way so you feel that ki these are very defined way which is the darkening of the color get separated equalized but here the very short banding and when the you are converted by the computerized the peak the peak get short very short and when the peak broadening or the width of the peak is very low so you somehow uh, get difficult to find out the retention time at the center but the peak is a very good way with the defined height with the defined broadening not more than a certain specific standard value so it is useful to find out the um, diffusion of the solute in the mobile phase okay so this 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 parameter you have to keep in your consideration it's needed for the good separation of chromatography now resistance to the mass transfer mass transfer is what the mass transfer through mobile and stationary phase contributed to the type of band broadening mass transferring is a very very important parameter how much mass is a transfer in the mobile phase and how much mass is a transfer in the stationary phase that we can calculate it certain good formula 
and good statistical equations so this is contributed whatever the mass get transferred in the mobile phase and the stationary phase the contribution of this mass we can identify on the type of band broadening if you are considering the stationary phase mass transfer the contribution is uh, attributed to the factor not all a molecule penetrated the same extension of the mobile phase and the same extension to the uh, mobile uh, stationary phase but the molecule giving the extended uh, stay a longer time in the stationary phase give a good separation as compared to the molecule having a less tend to the stationary phase so this is a good way so the quantitative or qualitative qualitatively this behavior is also known as the thickness now these are the molecule and these are the absorption on the stationary phase so the first molecule is not absorbed the second one is high then third one is get exactly absorbed and the fourth one is get somehow get the um, absorption and the repulsion is having a same type of somewhere it is a absorbed mole so in this way the thickness of stationary phase the thickness of the molecule get absorbed by the stationary phase so the diffusion coefficient of the molecule in the stationary phase that is a diffusion coefficient that is a ds is definitely counted though this is the velocity of your solute ds is the thickness of the stationary phase this is the thickness of the stationary phase and um, we also see as the k2 k2 is the diffusion uh, sorry distribution constant so in this way you also find out the uh, stationary phase quantitatively behaved to the your uh, solute okay now now the mobile phase mass transfer is what the solute is happening a uh, certain passes through the strange mobile phase and spend a long time so it means that the solute which is uh, travel to the mobile phase it is having a very long uh, time together they are interacted with each other the molecule does not encounter with the any mobile phase just move the fast way so this is a one type of the molecule is interacted with the mobile phase and stay a long located or the close to the column tubing and go slowly slowly so in this way this type of the interaction is important the molecule is interacted with the mobile phase it's good chemistry for the separation the molecule which is not interacted just go on the fast way and give the result so this is not a right pattern for the chromatography the faster moving mobile phase with the solute not giving a good result so whatever the solute having a good solvent dissolve in that and later on when you are passing through the column the stationary phase required a certain interaction with the solute the mobile phase having a certain interaction with the solute and they need the interaction with their sufficient time if the interaction is longer in the stationary phase it's good for your separation as compared with the interaction with the mobile phase so the packaging material will move much faster than the others so you have to keep in your mind this is very important now the multiple pathway effect means what there is a solute type of and these are the mobile phases passing through this there are multiple pathways such effect is called as the he is the multiple pathway effect and k is a diffusion constant where is the distributions of this diffusions on the uh, mobile phase so these are the different type of arrow where are some get absorbed to less and more time to require there are the some is get um, less time and this is the strict so this is a bad separation this is again bad separation and this is a very bad separation because it diverted in a and different way so with this multiple factors keep in your consideration this is also very important in the chromatographic separation this type of distributions in between the stationary or the stationary phase.